This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Part 29. Keep going. Ah, finally, we get to do our thing. Your app should now be fully functional. Nice job. Thank you. Uh, if yours is not, you need to go back and do the other parts of this course. If you're stuck on it, uh, check out my tutorials. There are plenty of new pieces of functionality to add. If you have time, feel free to make any improvements you wish. Yes. Here are some ideas. Allow the user to append items rather than add them at the current location. Uh, if they want to add it to the end, go to the end. <laughs> um, give a user the ability to remove the item. Ooh, I like this. Uh, this can be tricky if you remove an item at the end of the list. Ooh, we'd have to update our global variable instantly. So you would need to count. Okay. Only add words if they are not blank. Oh, because if I click add, it would, okay. Approve the appearance. All right. I want to do remove for sure. So first then I will need to do design and let's add a remove. Control Z undoes. So I'm going to, oh, apparently not. Perfect. So add and remove. Um, let's go ahead and make our remove button black like that. And then great. Okay. I know I'm going to need an event handler. So events insert. I mean, I think it's easier if I do it in block form to see. I don't need a council log right now. So when event is pressed, what do we want to do? Well, when the remove button is clicked, we want to delete something. Okay. So what, how can we remove something? I think it's under variables. We use remove item and this will work, but it's going to be, well, here, I'll show you. Uh, my, my uh, array is called favorite. So remember, that's what we put first. And then the number that we want to remove is next, right? So the index of what is getting removed, it goes next. And what our index will be is, well, our global variable, mine was called item index, that we are on. And this should remove that item. And then we would want to update the display. So we're going to run update screen. Okay, let's give this a shot. What it's mad about event is Oh, yep. My event. Okay, let's try. So code next, I'm going to click remove. And now we only have two things. So good, it's working. However, it doesn't know what we want to do. So it's not updating our um, indexes correctly. So we need to make sure it does that. We also need to make sure that the list has more than zero items. Okay. So what that was mad about is us being on the last item. There's a few things we need to take care of. We're going to need an if statement. Okay. And we want to check that if we hit delete, it can't display anything because I want to show you one more time. If I remove the last thing, oh, darn. If I remove the last thing, okay, it hasn't updated the global variable. So it's still trying to display the third thing and it says, what? This isn't right. Okay. So we need to make sure we're not on the last one, or if we are, we need to do something very specific. So for this, I need an if, and then I'm going to check where we're at. My global variable was called item index, and I want to make sure, or I want to check um, if it is the last thing that is being removed, we can either go to the front of the array or to the end of the array. So I'm going to do item index if less than, whoops, favorites, which is my array, dot length minus one, because length will always be one more than the index, because index counting starts at zero. So if item index is greater, right, if the item index is greater 
in favorites length minus one. So if it's greater, if the item index is now more than the number of indexes in my array, what I'm going to do, not that, I want to set it equal to item index is going to be equal to favorites dot length minus one. Okay. So I'm going to change it to make sure it's never greater. Let's see now what this does. And now it will let us do that. We still have some problems. I have one thing left in my list. What? Oh, what happens if they try to delete everything? So we need to account for that as well. Let's hit reset. If um, my ver my array is favorites dot a length is less than zero. So if it's less than zero, what do we want to do? I guess it would be easier to say, so if it's greater than zero, then we want to run and remove the item, right? So if it's greater than zero, go ahead and remove, okay? So if it's not greater than zero, though, we might need to have an else statement. What we should check we can go ahead then and put this if statement inside here because first we're going to make sure that there are items in our array if there are no items in our array we don't need to check this if statement it won't be true anyways now for the situation that arises when you try to delete the last thing we want to know if it's the last thing because we'll get a bug we want to know if it's the last thing and we want to clear out the display because if we're deleting the last thing, there's nothing left to show. And that's in part why we are getting that bug. So right now we check to make sure that there is something uh, to delete, right? If we have something in our array, if the length is more than zero. And then this one is checking if it is the last item. So we know to display, we know what to display and we change the index, the global variable for index. Now we need something for the screen, right? When we say update screen, we can't just say that if we're not sure if there's anything to show. So we can update the screen, but only if there's something in our array. Otherwise, we would just want to blank it out. And what I mean, right? So if after this code, favorites, which is my array, dot length was greater than zero, meaning there's not zero things, right? If there is something in our array, we want to update screen. If it's not greater than zero, if we run update screen, there's nothing to show and our code throws in error. So if there's nothing to show, we might as well set text and set the number text, right? And what I mean here, we'll set the mine was called text area to blank. Right, just an empty string. And then I'm going to set the number label to be zero of zero. So that should show nothing, because if there's nothing to display, that's what we want. Let's see if we still have bugs. Okay, so I have three things. I'm going to add a uh, gardening just to show, but uh, now I have four things, right? Last, I'm gonna remove one, and that updated fine, looking good. Let's remove another, and another, and bye. But uh, cool, and now we have a working remove. So this is pretty tricky, an if statement with two if statements inside, one uses an else, but it works for me. I'm going to start messing with the design, I think, a bit and making it pretty. Uh, I encourage you to do the same. Uh, if you do something cool with yours, make sure to share it. So, awesome. Let's uh, keep going.